Welcome to EJ Bits. Today we are cooking fine dining caldereta. It's a very special caldereta because we need lots of spices. So Urban Herbs and Spices offers lots of spices, a wide range of spices, ranging from 40 pesos to 80 pesos, depending on the spices. And go ahead and check their Facebook link down below if you do need spices. And we will be using their spices for our cooking videos. So go ahead and check them out. The quality of their spices, it's very nice, very good quality. And uh, the flavors are really, really present. And uh, I really recommend. So here are the ingredients, of course. Today, we are featuring the new knife set that is featured in our giveaway. And of course, we need olive oil since fine dining. Cheese, we need tomato paste, tomato sauce, cream, and uh, two small cans of liver spread and the spices. So uh, these are just some of the ingredients. And uh, we're using the new stove. So hope you enjoy. So for the spices, we need one half tablespoon of oregano, one half tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of dried thyme, three leaves of laurel leaves, one half tablespoon of black pepper, coarse ground black pepper, not fine ground. And we're using one whole tablespoon of smoked paprika or Spanish paprika. And for the cayenne pepper, we are using half a tablespoon. So this will give the spiciness and a nice kick to our caldereta. We just have to mix this and uh, you can always adjust to your own seasoning and liking. This isn't so spicy, so don't worry about that. We are using the new Santoku knife of the Everwealth knife set. And I will be reviewing this in a future video. And uh, don't worry about the way I cut the onions, the garlic, and everything else. Home cooking lang naman, wag kayo mag -alala. And for the carrots, of course, we need to cut our carrots and potatoes using the butcher's knife just to see how good the butcher's knife does its job. And it does the job really well. Caldereta cut for all of our vegetables and even the meat. Very basic, very basic. Trim the fat of your beef. Today we are using flank beef steak. So this is the flank and uh, as we can see the grain, we cut against the grain. So that our meat will be tender when we eat it. Again, we cut our meat into caldereta chunks. Very easy to slice using the butcher's knife. And we need this much cheese. We're using the new stove top again, 40% LPG savings. And it's an infrared stove. And we start with the olive oil. We start with the onions. Since I want the onions to caramelize a bit. And to help this process, we will add some salt. So this is 1 fourth tablespoon of salt. And I added my meat. We just want the meat and the onions to brown. We can now add our garlic. And as we can see here, this is what we're looking for. We can flip our meat so that it will brown on both sides and we can add the spices also. Only one tablespoon. So I will be gradually adding the spice mix to our caldereta in the entire cooking process. And once everything is nice and brown, I'm adding one pack of tomato paste. And we just need to fry or sweat the tomato paste. So it's a very simple recipe. So you guys should also try this recipe out and comment down below what you think about the recipe. Ngayon naman, maglalagay tayo ng kalahating kaldero ng tubig. 
Napakadali lang. As you can see here, makikita natin na hindi siya malapot. Medyo malabnaw pa siya. Huwag tayo mag-alala. Kailangan lang natin maghintay. Nakumulo siya. And now, magdadagdag ako ng 5 teaspoons of sugar. Just to balance out the flavors. And I'm adding in one pack of tomato sauce. And uh, I also added here our liver spread. And at this point of the cooking process, please add your bay leaves or laurel leaves. Kalimutan ko eh, so sorry. And I added in two tablespoons of patis. Dahil sikat ng patis ngayon. And I also recommend to add tomatoes in this recipe. Wala kaming tomatoes, so walang tomatoes yung recipe. But it still tastes as good as the recipe with tomatoes, so don't worry. Now low heat. And we just wait for this to simmer for 30 to 45 minutes if you're using a pressure cooker. Up to an hour if you're using a non-pressure cooker like this one. Just check if the meat is soft and once you are satisfied, now we can proceed in adding our carrots, some more spices, and potatoes, of course. I also added in the cheese so that it will melt. We are almost done cooking our special fine dining caldereta. As you can see, it has thickened up. Please turn off the heat before adding our cream. So this is one pack of cream. Make sure to turn off the heat so that it won't form any lumps. So as we can see, the caldereta is not as red as you would expect. It has a yellowish tint to it because of the turmeric. But I assure you that the turmeric flavor isn't overpowering. And the flavor, it's just as good as a fine dining, if not better than fine dining caldereta. Stay tuned for our future videos. There will be more cooking videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I hope you try this recipe out for yourself and for your family. I'm sure they would enjoy this recipe. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.